A dominant control quarterfinal display against Ukraine. Was it, Danny, as I said in the introduction, was it England's sliding doors moment in this tournament? Was this the moment that you thought, after you did a job in Ukraine, yet yeah, England's name's on the trophy? No. Um, no, not at, all, not at all. I thought the Germany game was that moment because they were much better opposition and, you know, they've, for so many years they've been our nemesis. So... That was the moment where I thought we've got a chance when we beat the Germans. Didn't matter how we beat them. Didn't matter how you analyse the performance. Doesn't matter what you think about it. The fact is we beat them. Right. And we got over the line. The the Ukraine game to me was always a foregone conclusion. I, I never saw that. I, I did. I watched two of their group games and they were poor. You know, they they got through because of the way the format is. Uh, they were lucky against Sweden to a degree at times in the game. You know, the woodwork saved. And then Sweden went down to ten men. So it was Germany for you as a push to yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, I, if we'd have if we'd have not, I mean, someone suggested. I can't think actually. I was listening to one of the shows on here the other day, and someone was suggesting that if we didn't beat Ukraine, it'd be similar to Iceland. And I understood what they meant with that. Yeah, yeah. Because of the when you watch the Ukraine play, they they they're all right, technically yeah. okay, but they've got no power and they've got no real quality. So it was. It was the Germany game for me. There was the the moment where we, mm. we got a chance. So, uh, Mr. Jordan, where mm. are you at with England? Uh, it's getting mightily close As, now, isn't uh, it? No, a week ago, ten days ago, I said to you that this is now a tournament that I would be embarrassed if we don't get to the semi-finals on, um, which we've now achieved. Obviously, I posted a picture on Twitter of some Scotland fans um, waving a Ukrainian flag out their window. Yeah, I saw that. Nation support that we can rely on. That was Jim's out. It was Jim's <laughs> out. Yeah, but 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 uh, but it was in something else in the window. I didn't want to look at. Yeah. Um, but but there was um, for me to answer your question about sliding doors moment. The sliding doors moment for me was when Muller misses for Germany. Yeah, I think that's the moment when when you're going one direction, you know that things are stacking up the way you want them to. We got a draw that leads us to a situation where we can have an opportunity to progress through the tournament, and. If you if you took the six big sides that were going to land in the sixteen, whether it be the Portuguese, the Italians, the French, the Belgians, the Germans, you'd want the Germans every single time in its current incarnation. Move away from the psychological barrier of not having beat them over a period of time and go into the here and now and say in the here and now, do which team would you want? We got the Germans. We did a job on the Germans. Ukrainians was 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 to me always a foregone conclusion, but not an easy game. No. And if you get out of the blocks very early and the Ukrainians suddenly wilt in the first did. three minutes, yeah. mm. the game was always going well, to be away from This is the first them. time, Simon, against Ukraine that we saw what England can do when they go forward in waves. I mean, this is the first time that we saw what, how dangerous they can be. Well, it surprised me, to be honest with you. I know, the I know, threat I, they and carry. I, and, I, and I don't want to be someone that can easily say things when they're not able to back them up. The moment we scored, I turned to my mate and the pup and said, we'll beat them 4-0. Because I just think the game's open now. But I was surprised that we stopped in the first half and allowed the Ukrainians slightly into the game and then obviously in the second half we started bright again and took it away from them mm. but you know irrespective of whether the Ukrainians were poor or not because I think they were you can only beat what's in front of you 100%, you build yeah. momentum based upon confidence and what they'll take from this game is an inordinate amount of belief and football is a significant and he'll tell you more than I can tell you there's a big part of football that's played in your mind and if your mind is in a position now where you think the opportunity is yours it's almost not to get into the crappy world of neuro-linguistic programming, a positive mental attitude, but it's part of the battle to overcome the psychological barrier of thinking you can win. And these guys will now believe they can win. They won't take the Danish as monks, and we'll talk to people on the show this afternoon yeah, and yeah, confirm yeah. that this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But it is our tournament to get to a final. In a final, different dynamic, because yeah. you're going to play the Italians or the Spanish, and I think if we get to the final, which I think we will... 65,000 English fans that have sat watching this country being divided for four or five years over Brexit, over the pandemic and the misery that we've had to live with the last 18 months will be a force that I think even the best players in the world will have not seen that kind of intensity of emotion and I think it will drive us across the line. So is this going to be the week, Danny? This going to be the week they're all out in the street, street well, parties so. everywhere. Is, it, is there a name on it? I, I, <laughs> don't sit on a fence. I, I don't... Is your name on it? I mean, you've got, they've got two big hurdles to get over. I mean, the Danes are a decent side, and as Simon just rightly said, the Italians and Spanish in a one-off game are going to be difficult. Right. The fact we've got home advantage for two games puts us favourites. But, you know, I just don't like getting too carried away when we expect. It's bit, you know, go back to Euro 96 because we were at home, hmm. and you're thinking we're, we're, we're nearly there. There's, there's what... You always... 
I think when you follow England, whether you've been a player or even as a fan, there's always that caution that kicks in. And you think you look at the Danish story and the, the romantic elements of that after what happened to Ericsson yeah. and the way they've turned it round. Yeah, yeah, and true. the level of their performance yeah. and yeah. the passion. And, yeah. you look, and you look at the, the, the catalogue of performances they've had over the last 12 months. This is a very decent side that only gets beat by teams like Belgium. And of course, the Finns have beaten them. Yeah, no, that, that was, was a very different dynamic. Yeah, but Simon, very is, it, is it not side. unarguable that progress from an England point of view has been made? Undoubtedly. A semi final in the World Cup follows. Followed by this, the, the semi finals the first, of the Euros, and they're not done yet. It's the first time ever. It's yeah. the first time yeah. we've yeah. got. We, it's the first time we've got past the quarterfinals. And you can't argue with that. If, Simon. if you want to look at the the building mechanisms of saying that we've had two back to back tournaments, we've got to semi final. You have to say that we're in the right direction. Yes. You also have to be honest with ourselves and say we've had the draws that have facilitated that. So now we're at a stage now where we haven't got a Croatian team in the semi final. We've got a Danish team. Now, I suppose you could compare and contrast, but we're at home. I would expect, not demand, but expect, and there's nothing wrong with expectation, as long as the players don't get ahead of themselves. We can get ahead of ourselves as much as we want, mm. as long as the players don't. Yeah. I would expect us to have just a little bit too much I would. against the Danish on yeah. Wednesday. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.